Many of you have been waiting to get a Tesla Powerwall. There's a huge demand, not enough of them to go around, and to be honest, they're kind of expensive. But that's all about to change for one good reason. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to the new subscribers. Really good to have you guys. Welcome back, everyone else. Really good to have you too. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for your support this year. It's been an amazing year. Been a bit of a roller coaster ride for a number of different reasons. As some of you who watch the channel more often would be aware, yeah, it's been some ups and downs. It's been some great times. It's been some tough times. But overall, it's really been a great year. Tesla, they make the power wall. The power wall is kind of like a battery you can put on the side of your house, your business, or wherever you want, and you can power your house or your business with it. It's like a battery pack, which you can link up you can put extra battery packs. You can say, have, I know someone personally who has five power walls on their house. They've got a big house and they're totally off grid. So they use no grid power at all, not connected to the grid at all. They only use Tesla's power walls to power their very big seven bedroom house. Seven bedrooms, big house, expensive, right? One of the challenges of batteries is longevity, right? When you buy a power wall, you want to hope that it's going to last you for what, 20 plus years, right? You don't want to have to replace those battery packs after say five years. Well, LFP batteries are one of the solutions to this challenge of battery cycle limitations in modern batteries. LFP battery packs generally last for around three times as many cycles as lithium ternary packs. Finally, Elon Musk has made the call and Tesla's power walls will shift to lithium iron phosphate battery technology. That's one of the big changes being made at Tesla. Well, one of the great things about LFP batteries is not just the fact that, yes, you can do a lot more cycles, less battery degradation, they last longer. It's also the fact that there's much more supply, at least of LFP batteries to Tesla. And that is the key reason why Tesla are about to ramp up their deliveries massively of power walls. Supply and demand has been a problem. Demand hasn't been the problem for Tesla but supply has been. And it's one of the key reasons why Tesla service around this area is pretty pathetic. People complain that when they call Tesla to order power walls or get it organized or find out questions, Tesla's customer service sucks. One of the problems here is Tesla's understaffed in this area and they just don't have enough battery packs to go around. That's all about to change. Elon Musk is saying that Tesla is ramping up Powerwall production and will finally increase availability of the battery pack. Tesla has been production constrained with the Powerwall for a very long time. The demand has been strong in a number of markets like the US and Australia, but production hasn't been able to catch up despite significant ramp ups. Now, why are Powerwalls so popular in Australia? Well, the biggest reason is solar. We have solar here, it's everywhere. Why is it everywhere? It's very, very cheap. On average, we pay around 40 to 50% of a cost for solar that you guys in the US do. This is thanks to generous incentives and various other reasons. But all in all, this accounts to a situation where Aussies are becoming independent of the grid. Like there's so many smart people out there right now that have basically switched off from the grid, that are just using power walls or some kind of batteries. You can get battery packs from BYD and a number of other companies as well. They're connecting those to their very, very affordable solar systems and paying off that system within a matter of a few years and just being totally energy independent. In addition, they're able to charge their electric cars from their solar as well. And getting back to power walls, it took Tesla about five years to deploy their first 100,000 power walls. Then it deployed 100,000 more home battery packs in 2020 alone. Despite the ramp up, Tesla couldn't catch up to the demand they faced, and it had to tie power walls to solar systems and stop taking orders for their packs. So basically, Tesla was like, well, we don't have enough of these to go around, so what we'll do is we'll bundle them together with our solar system. If you want a power wall, you have to buy solar. Then they actually stopped taking orders because they just had so many orders that they felt like they were disappointing customers by taking too long to deliver the power wall. Within the last 24 hours, Musk shared the power wall page and he suggested that people should order for blackout protection. And people think that the reason he tweeted this was the electricity issues that California is currently having and the brownouts that some are experiencing. The other thing is, right? Tesla now has their virtual power plant 
in California. So if you buy a Powerwall, you can connect to the power plant and you can make money through Tesla's, basically their metering of the plant. So what that system does is it sends your power out into the grid, it sells it when prices of electricity are high and it brings power back in to your battery pack when prices are low. Now, obviously, you can also charge your pack using solar. So you can basically make money out of nothing. And this is the genius of Tesla's virtual power plant. And it's one of the key reasons why Tesla plans on becoming one of the world's largest energy distributors over the next 10 to 15 years. However, right now, in the US, you still can't order just the power pack. You have to order both a power wall and Tesla solar panels. However, Musk said that Tesla might open up orders for Powerwall by itself by the end of the year. For now, supply is too low, but ordering a Powerwall by itself should be possible by the end of the year. What does all this come down to? Why are they doing this? How is this possible? It comes down to one thing. Tesla is transitioning its power walls. It's changing from lithium ternary power or NCA batteries to LFP batteries. It's a big advantage. It's an advantage in supply, meaning you'll be able to buy a power wall if you're in the US and Australia and it's an advantage on longevity. The batteries will definitely last a lot longer. There's a big big plus in my view. Now, I recently made a video talking about Tesla's transition of their big battery packs, their commercial packs, and their smaller packs from ternary batteries to LFP chemistry batteries. Now those batteries obviously predominantly come from the largest battery manufacturer in the world, CATL, but Tesla does now also get batteries from BYD, who have become the second largest battery company in the world within the past few weeks, when only a year ago, they were the fifth largest. It's been an, an absolutely historic rise into being one of the world's dominant battery producers. So clearly, the solution here all along for Tesla was using LFP in their battery packs, their commercial and residential packs. That's what's happening. And in my view, this is really, really good news. Now, right now, we don't know exactly how long Tesla's backlog of Powerwalls is. About this time last year, it was 80,000. Could be double that now. No one really knows. So if you want to get a Powerwall, my tip is put in your order as soon as you can. Refresh the page, refresh it, refresh it, refresh it, or just stay tuned to this channel and I'll let you guys know as soon as those orders become possible for you guys in the US. When I mean possible, I mean as soon as it's possible for you to order just the pack and not the panels. Because I'm going to guess that most people already have solar panels and they're just waiting for the battery packs to become available. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.